So in precisely the same way as we investigated quadratics, we're now going to move on to cubics. So we're going to start off with a general cubic equation. So ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d equals zero. Okay, now that's going to have up to three roots. And we can say has the roots alpha, beta, and gamma. Okay, so we use the Greek letters alpha, beta, and gamma to represent those three roots. Right, now if they're the roots, then I should be able to write ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d in an equivalent factorised form where I've got a times x take away alpha, x take away beta, x take away gamma. Now I'm going to need to expand these three brackets out. So we've got a times, so I'm going to expand the first two. We're going to get x squared, then I'm going to get minus alpha x minus beta x plus alpha beta times the x minus gamma. Now there's a reason why I'm not going to factorise that at this point, OK? Um, I'm going to factorise it all in one go when I get to the end. So, expanding these two brackets now, we've got x squared times x, so x cubed, and x squared times uh, minus gamma, so minus gamma x squared. Then we've got minus alpha x times x, so minus alpha x squared, then minus alpha x times minus gamma, so plus alpha gamma x. We've got minus, minus beta x times x, so minus beta x squared, and minus beta x times minus gamma, so plus beta gamma x. Then we've got alpha beta times x, and alpha beta times minus gamma, so minus alpha beta gamma. Just about managed to get it on the line. Okay. Right, so before I multiply through by the a, OK, let's factorise some terms. So I've got the x cubed, then I've got the x squared. So I've got this one, this one, and this one. Now, they've all got a minus sign involved. I can factor out the x squared as well. And I can have then alpha plus beta plus gamma x squared. OK. Then I can deal with the x's. So I've got um, alpha beta, alpha gamma, and beta gamma. And then finally, minus alpha, beta, gamma. OK. So finally, multiply through by the A. A x cubed take away A lots of alpha plus beta plus gamma x squared plus A lots of alpha, beta plus alpha, gamma plus beta, gamma x take away A alpha, beta, gamma. Right. So then, the left-hand side has got to be the same as the right-hand side. I've got the x cubed and x cubed. I've now got bx squared equals this, OK? So that means that b must be equal to minus a times alpha plus beta plus gamma, OK? I must have that c is equal to this. So a times alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma. And I must have that D is equal to minus A alpha beta gamma. So from this one, I can say that alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to minus B over A. I can say that the alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma is equal to C over A. And I can say that alpha, beta, gamma must be equal to minus d over a. OK? Now, um, what we often refer to these, so I've, I've been using the, uh, the terminology, the sum of the roots and the uh, product of the roots. OK? So um, this... 
uh, I often refer to, um, you'll often, you might see it written down as the sum of the product pairs, okay? So, or the sum of the pairs, if you like. And so this is how uh, we work with our uh, cubic equations now, okay? So you've got alpha plus beta plus gamma, the sum of the roots. You've then got every way that you can multiply two of them together, add it together, so the, su the sum of the product pairs, and alpha beta, alpha, beta, gamma, okay? So ones, then twos, then threes, okay? You'll also notice that they go negative, positive, negative, okay? So when we had the quadratic, you had that the sum of the roots, alpha plus beta, was uh, the negative uh, B over A, and that the product of the roots was the positive C over A, okay? So each time you introduce, uh, so when we go to cortic, you'll have minus plus, minus plus, okay, as you work your way down. So you can see that these formulas get more complicated as the polynomials, uh, the order of the polynomial increases, okay? So what we're next going to be seeing are similar examples to what we're doing with quadratics, but this time with cubics.